Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Rat channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. Um, currently, Inumaki, Megumi, and Noritoshi are all fighting Hanami, uh, the Tree Spirit user, who seems to be incredibly strong, and I'm not sure how they're going to be able to beat him, even together. Uh, we also have Principal Yoshinobu facing off against Juzo, the spirit user that cleared up the barrier to uh, basically keep Gojo out. Uh, and this Juzo guy was wanting to fight Gojo, which would have been really interesting to see. A pretty quick battle too, by the way, but uh, I'm trying to figure out why he even wants to try to face off against uh, Gojo in the first place. Um, that being said, they probably have the other spirit users probably have uh, other uh, things in mind for Gojo. Uh, we also have uh, the rest of the team pretty much in their own separate spots away from what's currently going on. Um, Itadori and uh, still fighting with uh, Toto. Uh, and the rest of the groups are just kind of scattered about still. I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to see, because uh, it's in the opening, Itadori face off against Hanami at some point in time. So he's probably going to end up there. Uh, but with that being said, I'm really looking forward to the principal fighting Juzo. Uh, the fact that he uses his guitar is uh, rather wild. We're going to get some ACDC going here, or Pearl Jam. Uh, which will be incredibly uh, interesting, unique, and different, to say the least. But with that being said, people, let's get on to this anime reaction and see exactly what happens. All right, people, here we go. Say hello to Meadow. doing something but probably not a whole lot the fact that Inumaki could even stop it in the first place is pretty telling of his abilities I'm wondering why uh yeah, it's like he's not really, his speech isn't really affecting him as much as he probably hopes. Like, if you were to tell a normal person to talk how or stop, how long would it be before they could start moving? He's not letting up at all. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I kind of thought that uh, Hanami was somehow affecting his speech in some way. But he's just, I guess, overexerting himself by using it so much. Yeah, Han and Ami's just pushing back his curse tongue. What, you got it? Yeah, I don't think you do, bro. This is, hello? <laughs> Unless there's some ability he needs to be holding back on. Oh, wow. It didn't do anything, but mess him up even more. Unscathed. 
We needed that building not to be in the way, so we just sort of throw them back. Hanami has like a female voice actress. So I'm wondering if it's like half woman, half male. Okay, so there's more and more powerful ones. Huh. Wow, seriously? Oh, man. Well, that's sent him flying. Gosh, is he outside the barrier? That's a long ways. And look at that. Not even scratched. Even though he went back that far. Oh, geez. That's actually tragic. That might come into play later. Okay. So when one dies permanently, the others become more powerful. Oh, he took a chunk out of his arm. got something on you. So what's that say about you? Practically heartless. Yeah, maybe he's probably at his limits too. Oh, wow. So who's going to come in to save the day? Because somebody has to come in. Is this where Itadori comes in? Because uh, he's just slowly wearing them down. Where did Norikoshi go? Oh, what a little girl. I think that's every uh, protagonist in any show. They always save stuff like that. Toto and Itadori. Yep. All right, little girl, get down before you knock something down.
Oh, yeah. I was just warming up with you in the first place. Wow, all that we're just now into the intro. So, is Itadori and Toto going to have any more of an impact on this thing, though? Or are we going to have to wait for somebody to get the barrier down so that Gojo can get in here? Because we can't always be relying on him. But at the same time, uh, this, he's really powerful. Also, we still haven't gotten to the principal yet. What's going on with him? I really want to see that fight. So if we're about to watch, uh, Toto and Itadori take on Hanami, then we're not going to see the principal take on Chozu at all. Juzo. And honestly, the principal fight to me is pr the more interesting one. Just because of the, the style of it all. Like, look at this. Yeah, shrink frames, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Wait. We got this, bro. Chill out. <laughs> Is this dude talking about Ishidori? No. <laughs> you die again, I'll kill you again. And dash. Oh, the name of the episode. Wow. Steps back right in time. It's not going to be that easy, either, Dory. Wow! You can't let it cloud your judgment, though.
<laughs> they reigned in our honeymoon. <laughs> Toto was really obsessed with Itadori. This guy just casually smacking him. Those are love taps. Oh, getting back at the game. Wow, the whole English is really throwing me off. Best of friend. Okay. Whoa, Dory drooling from the thought of landing his hit. Huh. What is his arms just blow off? Oh, yeah. In the space of just a couple episodes, it w would probably be about 15 to 30 minutes with them fighting. He's probably increased his strength exponentially. Has he never used it before? He just shows him how to do it, but he's never actually did it. But I don't understand how he would know how to do it if he hadn't shown him how to do it so he would see what it actually is. He still is. Masses. Not people. Masses. <laughs> okay, here we go. Is this going to be the reveal? Yep. Some kind of rose on a black arm. They're a really good balance for each other. And they could probably pull off all kinds of uh, different attacks, uh, dual attacks, without even having to communicate. Yeah. Is basically what I was talking about, but they want to get it more perfected.
is. Finally feeling their bond of love together, their their connection. Okay, it's, this is what he's feeling. An actual fun. Uh, it's basically before they were just doing it just to, to fight, uh, to get their goal across. Yeah, I think he's probably one of the stronger ones. No kidding. Okay. All right, everybody, just a quick recap of the episode. So, like I had uh, theorized in the beginning of the episode, uh, Inumaki, Megumi, and Otoshi really did put up much of a battle, I'd say, because uh, Hanami's ability is just way too strong. Uh, it's not to say that they didn't try and that uh, they're not powerful in their own right. Uh, Inumaki is uh, extremely interesting to me because of his voice abilities to basically tell people what to do and uh, they just have to do what he says. Uh, even this cursed spirit, uh, he was able to uh, negate a lot of the power that Inumaki had, but he still had to obey. Uh, when he said, like, stop, he still had to stop. Uh, but what happened is uh, Inumaki strained his own abilities trying to keep him in check and uh, even his final attack really didn't do anything uh, so we have uh, Toto now with Itadori fighting and they're putting up much more of a battle which I guess anyone would assume would be a thing uh, just given their nature and the fact that Itadori is the main character. Uh, but it's interesting to see how Itadori has grown so much stronger already. Uh, the time uh, from when he died originally to when he first came up back uh, to his friends uh, with Gojo, his his strength, I would, I would think, increased quite a bit. But... And I can't remember how long that was, but it seems like in this span of just a little bit, an hour at max, uh, he's increased probably way more uh, just with Toto teaching him and uh, showing him uh, different techniques. Uh, so we're about to get a reveal from Toto uh, uh, with the technique that he hasn't used. We still didn't get to see the principal fight, which I'm highly disappointed about. So maybe that will be the majority of the next episode. Uh, I don't see a battle like this going on for two to three episodes. So we'll get the finish of this battle probably next episode. The beginning of the principal's battle and possibly some other stuff thrown in. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I still hope to see whatever the rose is on Hanami's uh, arm because... 
he said, you know, hey, look, uh, I've got to really go out on y'all. I, you, you're not light work. Um, but he still didn't show him what it does. So I, w- I would have thought that would have been like the immediate reaction. Uh, I really love the timing of the fights too. Uh, like I said, uh, Toto and Peter Dory's uh, ability to connect on a psychological level to know when to punch, when to jump, to kick off of each other to avoid that attack without even having to, to say anything to each other. It was, it's pretty it's pretty cool to me. Um, but with that being said, uh, that's the episode, guys. Let me know what you all thought in the comments down below, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye. Thank you.